Hello students, welcome to Sources Classes. Today we will be solving the CSIR UGC NET questions from the June 2018 paper. We will be solving the set C of the Mathematical Sciences paper. Let's start off with question number 80 today. In question number 80 it has been said that let S be the set of polynomials fx with integer coefficients which satisfies f of x is congruent to 1 mod of x minus 1 and f of x is congruent to 0 mod of x minus 3. Then which of the following statements are true? Option 1. S is empty. Option 2. S is a singleton. Option 3. S is a finite non-empty set. And option 4. S is countably infinite. So these are the options that we have been given for S. So S is the set of polynomials fx with integer coefficients which satisfies fx is congruent to 1 mod of x minus 1 and f of x is congruent to 0 mod of x minus 3. So fx is congruent to 1 mod x minus 1 this implies that x minus 1 divides f of x minus 1 so that implies that f of x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 into some function g of x so therefore we can write that f of x is equal to x minus 1 into some function g of x plus 1 this is for the first part now the other part is that f of x is congruent to 0 mod of x minus 3 so that implies that x minus 3 divides f of x so therefore we can write that f of x is equal to h x minus 3 into h of x now if we equate these two terms we will get that therefore x minus 1 into g of x plus 1 is equal to x minus 3 into h of x so now if we put x equal to 1 over here so if we put x equal to 1 let me rub it out if you put x equal to 1 that implies that 0 into g of 1 plus 1 is equal to minus 2 into h of into h of 1 so that will give us that h of 1 is equal to minus of 1 by 2 similarly if we put x equal to 3 over here so this will give us 2 g of 3 plus 1 is equal to 0 and that will give us that g of 3 is equal to minus of 1 by 2 but we know but f of x is a polynomial is a polynomial with integral coefficients coefficients so now also we know that we have already found out that fx is equal to x minus 1 into g of x plus 1 so that implies that gx also is a polynomial with integral coefficients and also that implies that fx which we have already found out is equal to x minus 3 into h of x that is also a polynomial with integral coefficients so that implies that g of x and h of x will only have integral values will only have integral values but we have found out that h of 1 and g of 3 is equal to minus half both of them are equal to minus half this is not possible not possible so that implies that there exists no solution like that that x minus 1 divides fx minus f of x minus 1 and x minus 3 divides f of x so there is no such x which exists or no such polynomial which exists so therefore no such f of x exists and that means that s is an empty set is an empty set and that implies that option 1 is correct the other options are all incorrect so today we have solved question number 80 from the CSI UGC NET question paper of June 2018 we will be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching Sobsus classes videos for more solutions and content thank you very much